Hey, it's Dave from the Not Too Ancient Chinese Secret Show, and today we're gonna take a look and a listen at the Rode Wireless Go system. And this is a wireless lapel microphone that you can throw onto your iPhone, which you're listening to right now, or onto your Pro DSLR or mirrorless kit to get great audio quality wirelessly. And we're gonna take a look at the review, how to set it up, as well as this little tiny mixer that allows you to get two of these systems into one camera for post mixing or mixing live as well. So let's get started. The first thing to note is that you get a lot of bang for your buck. Like this is a great system for $200 US that includes the transmitter, the receiver, the cable to get the receiver into your camera, as well as two little furry wind covers. And that's great. I know people complain about this falling off, but this seems pretty secure to me. And I think they look like Bert and Ernie from Sesame Street, which is really cute, but I digress. <laughs> but spoiler alert, just get it. I love the system with a few caveats, but um, we'll get to those in a little bit. First of all, design and build quality is exceptional. The built-in microphone sounds great. The actual build is all plastic seemingly, but it's so lightweight that I don't think you'll have a problem. I've dropped it a couple times and it still seems nice and strong. Um, there's very little to, to hate about this thing and I love the novel design of the clip that not only has rubber on the back side to clip it to shirts like this, but is also the right size to slip it onto any cold shoe or hot shoe mount for quick mounting without any other accessories. Pure genius. Now, as far as the transmitter and the receiver go, they both look identical from first glance, but you'll notice that the transmitter has the built-in microphone at the top center, as well as an input for microphones if you want to use external labs. This whole episode is shot on my iPhone 10 that has the wireless go going in via the SC7 adapter cable from Rode and a lightning adapter. So you'll need those two things to make this work. Now, as far as turning them on, it's super simple. You just press and hold the little Rode symbol for three seconds. And this is true for both the receiver and the transmitter. So let's do that now. After three seconds, you'll notice the LEDs turning on there. Same thing with the receiver. I'll just turn that on with a three second hold and then the screen lights up and you know you're on. Now, if you were powering this via USB-C, then you would just press it once quickly and it would power it on. And what's nice, they do have built-in batteries, but you can power these indefinitely with the included USB to USB-C cable. Now, once they're on, they come out of the box paired, but if you ever need to repair them, it's a pretty simple affair. On the receiver, you'll notice that we have a few extra buttons on one side, and that is the link button and the DB button. So if you need to repair this for any reason, you just press and hold the DB button until what looks like the wireless signal, the Wi-Fi signal logo blinks. Now, once it's blinking, we just press our transmitter once and you'll notice that it goes solid and you can tell that this is picking up my voice, no problem at all. It's that simple to pair. And it was amazing, I was really worried that the transmitter with the built-in mic doesn't have a volume control, so you can't change the volume of the signal that you're controlling. But I plugged in a Sennheiser mic as well as the SmartLeft Plus and even the internal mic, no problems whatsoever. They all sound great. Um, they, they've done a great job of controlling the volume. And there is another button on the receiver, unlike some of the competition, that allows you to attenuate the signal if it's too hot for your computer, uh, for your DSLR or mirrorless camera or iPhone. Now, the DB buttons works very simply. All you need to do is press it and it cycles between full, minus 12, as well as minus six, okay? Now, for if you're going into your iPhone or smartphone, I suggest trying minus 12, so that it has this light, lowest signal that allows your microphone to work on your input of your smartphone. On my uh, Sony a7 III, I found that a medium signal of minus six dB works really great, but you have to experiment and figure out what works best for the noise and sound quality for you. Battery life is great, six to seven hours they say, but again, remember you can charge it through USB-C or use it indefinitely with a battery bank if you like. Now, as far as in real world use, these will not be as good as a dedicated radio signal 
because I do find that it does drop signal if you have a body between you and the receiver uh, or you have walls in between. I was able in my house to get about one wall or one room away, but it is not as robust a signal as my Sony radio frequency wireless systems. But again, this is $200 versus $600 for a, another system. So really good value for the money. So if you can have line of sight between your talent and your receiver, I think you're gonna be golden with this kit. But I will have another video that I'm gonna be sharing, um, a test that I'm gonna be doing, if I can get a backup on talent recording. So even if it drops signal, you'll have a backup signal, or backup recording that you can use no problem as well. Now. Uh, another thing that I do recommend, if you ever want to do interviews or if you want to have like two microphones, you can just stick this because it, it has a cold shoe mount on the microphone transmitter as well. Just stick it into a cold shoe and now I can have this which is a selfie stick and I could put like a windscreen on top of it if I wanted and stick it in people's face and talk interview style anywhere I go, which is amazing. Um, the other thing that you can do is get this passive mixer that sits right into your hot shoe. What's amazing about this little mixer, it's $40, I've got links below, is that it has these three cold shoe mounts. So you can quickly just put your two different microphone inputs, uh, microphone receivers on here, um, and then you can choose to mix them to your separate left and right channels so that you can mix two different sources in post, or if you're doing something live or you want to mono mix, you can actually switch it to mono mix and have it all go right to camera or to your live stream uh, mixed up perfectly. So really versatile little kit. It does sound great. Um, and so yeah, I highly recommend it. Again, links are below. So that's about all for now. I, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them, but I will be making a video that will give you the ultimate ability to make a backup recording on a person as well as send a wireless signal. So you have best of both worlds as well as backup audio. So thanks for watching guys. God bless. And I hope to see you in the next video.